What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to tutorial 50 and today's topic is uh, how to add or how to create tag for your existing uh, AWS EBS volume snapshot using Boto3 and Python. So I got so many requests that uh, sir the, we have created the volume or we have created the snapshot but uh, while uh, creating the snapshot uh, we, uh, we haven't uh, like uh, add any tag now how to uh, add those things like this is very simple guys i was repeating uh, since uh, probably i was repeating initially but again i just stopped saying this thing i thought that you guys would uh, like uh, understand the uh, uh, main part of the magic part so the main part is that uh, uh, like the complete set of things or complete operation cannot be like taught in the tutorial so we have to uh, read the documentation of aws boto3 so this is very simple things i just uh, that is why uh, i skip this part but again i thought that you guys didn't uh, you guys didn't follow the documentation or even uh, not following right now as well so i th thought of creating this thing but while uh, creating the tutorial i just uh, want to make sure that you guys should uh, listen to my words very carefully guys uh, just open the aws boto3 documentation just search in the google aws boto3 documentation it will give you the link and after that you have to just uh, go through the documentation like if you spend every day 15 minutes 20 minutes 10 minutes of time then over the period within a month you will uh, you will come to know so many different things and after that this simple question will not arise so you will start come uh, like concentrating on the more advanced or intermediate topic because these things are very simple thing because this is going to take only one line of code nothing else okay so uh, without wasting much time let me just uh, uh, explain you what i'm actually trying to achieve and what was the query so suppose someone created this snapshot like in the last tutorial we have created some snapshot from the volume so while creating the snapshot it looks like this but if you see here there is no name because name is a tag we haven't done any tag for this thing right so now how to add this thing that was the question so it is uh, part of the documentation you guys are not following that is why the reason so let me just tell you it's fine that if you are not following but again uh, try to uh, follow the documentation it will help you to learn so many new things so this is tutorial 50 and after that so once I finish this tutorial you guys will able to understand okay oh my god this is so, so simple tutorial 50 then how to how to add actually how to add tax to existing AWS EBS volume using python okay that's it hello now let's start writing the actual things it should be boto3 first always then ec2 underscore client then it should be boto3 dot client and after that bc2 okay let's execute this thing done so now we'll write down the actual code again as i told you this is going to be again one line of code so remaining first two lines you can ignore because this is uh, this these two lines are uh, like kind of uh, unique for all aws code whatever code you are going to write whether it is simple basic advanced 10 lines of code millions in of code you have to uh, write these two lines okay so then ec2 client then create we have to find create tags where is the tag yeah like this here so let's check what are the things is required so it requires a uh, resource and tags that's it so let me just copy paste this thing over here so here resource means the resource id so any 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 sort of resource you can put so in my case i'll be going to uh, give this name like this this sorry not this gap this this snapshot id okay so let me copy this snapshot id over here okay okay let me give a name let's say i'm just going to give a name name key key value is name and the value of the value is going to be let's say tuto real 50 uh, uh, let's say use case something like that so that we will be able to understand like this tutorial 50 use case will be written over here okay let me execute this thing now let's run this thing okay this is done 200 means it's completed so let me refresh this thing now 
it got over here so this is so simple and if you want to remove manually you can do it something from here so manually also possible and also you can do it from python just because you are doing it python so it is better to use for python okay so probably now someone will ask me that how to remove uh, this tag so now this is a question of uh, from my side to all of you guys that uh, you guys should practice this thing and let me know via in the uh, via, like uh, you can drop me a uh, message on my uh, uh, over the chat or you probably you can drop or write the comment in the comment section just uh, below the video okay so that is the kind of a homework or kind of a assignment for all of you guys that how to remove this tag now okay so I, I want to make sure that you guys are following the documentation that's it like uh, like uh, single-handedly watching my videos or blindly watching my videos are not going to help definitely it will help but it will only help you to uh, develop the intuition it will clear some concepts and you will be able to understand that how things are uh, like actually happens with the python or uh, both bottle 3 and aws but if you want to know something else or something more uh, uh, in detail or some other things as well then definitely you have to go through the documentation okay and documentation actually makes you uh, kind of uh, expert of any any anything like see whatever I actually learn I learn from the documentation only that's it and no other uh, like uh, tutorial or piece of uh, thing or code will uh, give you that much of complete information ap uh, apart from that documentation because it was written by uh, like AWS and AWS is the like they are the kind of uh, whole and sole, sole owner of this uh, product or tool whatever so that is why we should start reading the documentation okay so enough of talking guys but before I uh, end this tutorial guys let me know uh, some sort of feedback how you guys are enjoying the tutorial course topics whether I am missing some Something, whether you want me to uh, add something whether you want some more use cases or if you have any other uh, like suggestion feedback anything just let me know I'll try to improve our qualities and from my side again one more time uh, it is highly recommended guys after watching the video you, should, uh, you guys should uh, practice the same thing by writing the codes or else you guys will definitely forget over the time so because this is already 50th tutorial and as I told you this is only one third so probably the whole tutorial will take um, maybe 150 200 I don't know but it will be a huge tutorial okay so that is why start writing the code or else you guys will definitely forget whenever we are going to start like a uh, big automation like in the in, in enterprise level automation using kind of uh, chain wise of uh, automation like in the single automation nobody will ask you to go and create tags there could be multiple tasks and parallelly has to be done one by one so when you are going to start those things that time probably you guys will face some difficulties to understand if you guys are not clear with this concept and coding okay so that is why it is highly recommended that you guys should start writing your code practice the code try to think analytically try try to create some use cases for your own after that try to challenge those use cases try to solve those if you're not able to solve you can come back to me i will try to answer but do something okay it will give you the confidence and definitely it will uh, make you uh, the next level guy okay so that's it that's it for today uh, we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day